Okay, uh, morning everyone, um, and a very happy new year from uh, Ian's RC Exploits. Okay, what I wanted to talk about today was my Blade 330S and the issues that I've had since purchasing this helicopter. Um, basically, it all comes down to instability mode or uh, safe. I had an issue with the helicopter uh, not taking off very well. It would tilt and lean while taking off. Also then I had problems with the helicopter uh, drifting to the left and also drifting forward. And um, all these issues are well documented on my channel. There's numerous videos. Um, unfortunately, it resulted in... Uh, the blade 330s crashing and it was then sent back to the company that i bought the helicopter from who then sent it to a company to assess the gyro for horizon hobby and they assessed that the gyro was working correctly and uh, what i've discovered really is that it's the uh, basically the attitude settings that are in safe um, that I think are incorrect. Now, when you purchase this helicopter, it comes with uh, the receiver, and obviously the receiver communicates with the flybar controller. And if you've got um, a Gen 2 radio like this DXA, you can access something called forward programming and actually alter the settings. Now, so remember guys, if you're going to start um, messing with the settings on the radio, then make sure you disconnect your main motor wires. I've disconnected the motor wires, so obviously uh, the main rotor or the tail rotor won't start spinning and possibly cause an accident. If I um, show you, I shall go down to forward programming. Which is there, and when okay, if I pop the throttle cut on, so you can see there in forward programming, we've got swash plate, tail rotor, and safe. If I go down to safe, we've got stability and attitude trim. If I go to attitude trim, you can see there at the moment, I've got it set to roll zero and pitch zero. Now, when you uh buy this helicopter as a bind and fly basic and you uh, put the settings into the radio the settings roll is set to positive 250 so I'll just put that to 250 so there we go positive 250 for roll and pitch from the factory is set at minus 250. So we're getting it to minus 250 there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the main screen and I'm going to switch to the video camera to show you the swash plate. Uh, in closer how the swash plate reacts to the settings and what it does to, to the swash plate okay so I've actually switched now to um, the video camera so you can see the swash plate now as I said the swash plate there is in flight mode one and that's no stability selected now remember this is on uh, the settings that would be in the flybar controller when it comes from the factory now if i switch to stability mode or normal mode look what happens to the swash plate normal mode. you see there that it's tilted forward and quite severely to the right and i'll switch back to flight mode one just so as you can see that again Stunt one. so there now the swash plate has gone level let me just come in and i'll show you again Ready, this is going into normal mode. Normal mode. So there you can see 
the tilt to the right and the tilt forward. Let's go back straight. Stamped one. And there you can see now the swash plate has gone back to to level. Okay. So you saw there with the close up of the video camera how the swash plate reacts when you go into stability mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a video clip of this helicopter flying, okay? When I've taken off with the factory settings in stability mode and you can see how the helicopter just leans around as you're taking off and then I'm going to show some footage to show how the helicopter was severely drifting to the left and forward as well okay Yeah, it's all over the flip, all over the flipping place. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so, basically, right, what I did to overcome that was if I go back to the radio, and sorry if you can't see this, guys, but I'm going to scroll down to forward programming. There it is, okay. Put the throttle cut on. And then come down to the third one down, which is safe. Okay, into the attitude trim. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my settings back, which was zero, zero. So, okay, just um, bear with me while I scroll those back. Okay, so you can see there I've gone back to... Roll zero, pitch zero, and I'm going to enter out of forward programming now, back to my main screen. There we go, and I'm going to actually go back now to using the video camera, so bear with me. Okay, so now, if I take the throttle cut off, now we're going to switch. What we're in there is flight mode one, swash plate is level. And I'm going to go to normal mode. normal mode. And you can see now that there is a very, very slight bit of movement. But as we switch from normal mode to flight Stamped mode one. one, and then back to normal mode, normal mode, the swash plate is actually staying pretty much level. There's no forward tilt and there's no tilt to the right. Now, this is how I found that you change the settings. Obviously this is for my helicopter, so you do this at your own risk. But um, I, I basically can fly the helicopter now and I can take off in normal mode with the stability uh, working. And you know, there's no real severe drift when I switch between uh, flight mode one and normal mode and I'll post a video to show the helicopter flying with my attitude settings at zero zero so that uh, people can see the difference this is flying with with you know, no attitude settings at all. It's just naught and naught because the helicopter was drifting badly to the left and forward. And if I just relax there and let it hover, you know, we got drift, but it's windy today. So, but I mean, that is a lot more controllable because the thing was literally just whoa and off it went, you know. Um, what I'll do is using the video camera now, I will try to just film those um, settings again right so you can see there I'm just going to show where people people need to go okay I'm scrolling down to 
straightforward programming that it is. I'll click Warning, off. Throttle cut off. Okay, pop the throttle cut on. Hold mode. And then you see main menu, swash plate, tail rotor, and safe. Click on safe. And then we've got stability and attitude trim. Click on the attitude trim. And there you see I've got roll zero, pitch zero. So they come from the factory plus 250 for roll, minus 250 for pitch. Okay then, so I just wanted to show uh, these attitude trim settings and how they affect the Blade 330S on takeoff and in um, safe mode or stability mode. I just hope that uh, this can help people that are having the same issues with the heli and obviously just wanted to explain to people how I alleviated these problems with my Blade 330S. Okay, thanks for watching and bye.